the eugenics program of the Nazis of World War II. At the end of World War I, the economic situation in Germany was a shambles. As a result, the quality population of the country was decimated as well. In order to overcome the hassle created by population reduction, government thought of following the popular eugenics theories. The initial plans for this were done in between 1919 and 1933 by the government of Weimar Republic. The primary objective of adopting eugenics program was to improve and restore health as well as physical well-being of people who lived within the country. 1932 was a prominent year for Germany. That's because the Weimar government took necessary measures in order to draft a plan, which was intended to sterilize all the people who had hereditary illnesses. It was inspired by the Laughlin's model eugenic law and several other related writings in United States. Most of the people who were affected with hereditary illnesses were living inside institutes. This was an unnecessary expense for the government because it had already spent a considerable amount of money on the war. In fact, the country didn't have enough money to be spent on these people. Even though they could not come across anything in order to overcome the issue immediately, the program initiated through eugenic programs showed promising results in the future. With eugenic programs, people who were affected with hereditary illnesses were prevented from having children in the future. Because of this reason, some of the individuals were able to leave the institutions and live independently. As a result, the government was able to bring out a straightforward solution to an issue that they have been trying to fix for a long period of time. The program did not involve just sterilizing people who had hereditary diseases. It helped those individuals with enhancing the decision-making capabilities as well. During 1933, the control of Germany was gained by National Socialist Nazis. The new government took necessary measures in order to bring a law, which is related to the prevention of pregnancy that was associated with hereditary diseases. This newly introduced law was much different when compared to the plan introduced by the Weimar government. In here, people who were affected with hereditary diseases had to be sterilized, even if they showed their objections. A list of illnesses was also introduced by the Nazi government, which included hereditary deafness, hereditary blindness, Huntington's chorea, schizophrenia, congenital feeble-mindedness and serious physical deformities. It was also stated that all the people who were affected with chronic alcoholism to be sterilized. Soon after the law was passed, necessary steps were taken in order to look for suitable candidates that need to be sterilized. The decision taken by the government could not be reversed and people had to obey it. The doctors who lived in all parts of Germany were provided with a specialized training on race hygiene. All the Nazi doctors were engaged in the process of promoting eugenics strategy as well. The end objective of this was to rebuild the population of the country, which had negatively been impacted by several factors. As per the statistical information, it has been identified that around 400,000 people in Germany were sterilized before the World War II. Thousands of Nazi doctors were engaged in the sterilization process as well. Most of the sterilized people were German citizens who were living in asylums. It was not an easy task for the German government in order to convince people about the eugenic program. As a result, they came up with using propaganda movies in order to persuade general public, who were suffering from hereditary illnesses. They were considered as useless eaters, ballast existences, life unworthy of life and beings of lesser worth through these movies. During 1939, Hitler gave approval for the Action T4 program. Along with this program, authorized officials and doctors within the country were allowed to engage with mercy deaths for the people who were suffering from hereditary diseases. The entire program was coordinated by 50 volunteered physicians. Before this program, a detailed analysis was also conducted in order to figure out the suitable candidates. During the first phase of the Action T4 program, 5,000 children who were congenitally deformed were murdered. In order to kill them, the physicians used lethal injections. However, some of them were starved to death. After the first phase, the T4 program was extended while targeting adults. 
the death certificates of the individuals who were killed from this program were sent to family members. However, the reason for the death was mentioned as a sudden death, which was completely incorrect. Even though general public and church groups raised their voices against the T4 program, it was continued and Hitler was not ready to listen to their voices. Nurses and doctors across the country continued with their practices and they covered up all the actions of killing people. However, Edzard Ernst, who was a physician historian has stated that Action T4 just a pilot project. They had intentions of existing millions of people with the help of concentration camps. The enthusiastic collaboration of people who lived in this time contributed a lot towards the success of the experiments. This helped Hitler to continue with what he did. At the end of the era, millions of people lost their lives and the eugenics program was the start of it. To understand the reason behind genetic disease on we must know the truth about race. I will explain it now. It started in Africa. 130,000 years ago. Then, there was just one human race, Negro. A tribe of these Negroes left Africa 130,000 years ago, other tribes remained, they migrated to Scandinavia. Tens of thousands of years later than this first migration out of Africa another tribe broke off and headed east to South India and then that tribe split and some headed to Far East Asia some on to Australia. 50,000 years ago new races had evolved in these new environments. That is 80,000 years of evolutionary time from the original Negroes to the new races. In Scandinavia, Scandinavians had evolved. In South India, Dravidian had evolved. In Far East Asia, Mongoloids had evolved. In Australia, Aboriginals had evolved. The Scandinavian race descended into Europe from the north to get away from the descending Ice Age. They also moved into Asia and mixed with the South Indians which formed the Arabs. They moved into Far East Asia and mixed with the Mongoloids which formed the Orientals. These new hybrid people, Arabs and Orientals moved back west, Arabs into North Africa and then up into Greece, Italy, and Spain, mixing with more Aryans already there. Orientals went into Eurasia mixing with Aryans to form the Slavic peoples. Anyway 50,000 years ago there were five races of men. Scandinavian. Dravidian South Indian. Mongoloid. Aboriginal. Negro. The Nazi eugenics program was designed to strip the Aryan people of any foreign genetics, namely South Indian and Mongoloid. They did this through selective breeding, sterilizations, and mass murder. The Nazis perceived the genetic disease that blighted the Eurasians was down to the mixing of the original root races which they believed mixed up the perfect DNA of the root races. They set out to correct the genetic faults that their kind had acquired through vast time and racial intermixing. Thank you for listening.